Welcome to the Money Down. We got Kendrick Bourne joining us tonight. Appreciate you yeah. taking the time, man. KB. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, hope sir. Thank, you guys. Thank you, a, guys. Hope everybody had a great Easter. I don't know what y'all, what y'all had on the plate for, for Easter Sunday. I, I know I know Warren, mm. right? I, I saw hey, his we wheel, so. Damn, what? Going down. What, what, what you had, Warren? What was on the so, plate? You know, you know, we baked the ham, put some wings <laughs> on the grill. What else? My wife made some, uh, what did my wife? She makes my uh some handmade biscuits from scratch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, bro. We had we had a bunch of people over. They brought some mac and cheese, some double, some twice baked potatoes, some salads. We had some baked beans, you know. And then for dessert, my wife made a tres leches, and then I made a cinnamon roll gooey butter cake. I kept calling it Thanksgiving because it was you know, I ain't, you know what I'm saying. Got all that food. Shoot, what y'all boys? Yeah. For me, I, I, I put a prime oh. rib on the grill, smoked that, Ooh. and then I grilled Ooh. some chicken wings. We had mac and cheese and salad, but that, that about it. We kept it simple. We ain't had too many But you people. smoked it, though. Yeah. It, it, actually, it actually, it ain't turned out as good as I wanted to. I am just, 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 <laughs> hey, at least you keep it in the You know, That's impressive. You know, we, you know, we from the South, man. Collard greens, mac and cheese. <laughs> All that man, it was it was a it was a yeah. solid Easter, dog. And you know, I, you know, holidays I like to you know drink a little bit, so I had me some do say. <laughs> what y'all? I had a little, I had a little. Fam, I cook some tomahawks, bro. Some, some, yeah, the bone, the bone was huge, bro. But fire though, he he snapped. We had some stuffing, uh, mashed potatoes. What else we had? Mom cooked like some fried wings, okay, fried bro. chicken, yes, and uh, she had like some ribs too. So it was, yo, yo, we got yo, a little, yo, had yo, a little get together. So it was hey, good. It was good. Everybody stay tuned. Easter of 2025, Money Down Podcast at the Warren Crib. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. nah, nah Warren, <laughs> Warren Crib, bro. <laughs> the dessert sound always crazy. Welcome, always welcome. Always welcome. <laughs> dessert gonna, sound crazy. crazy. I ain't gonna lie to y'all boys. That's that good sleep afterwards too, though. No <laughs> cap. Yeah. That's sure, that man. good sleep. That food coma. Yes, yeah, sir. You hit that pillow. I was gone. <laughs> I was gone. It's gone. You you be on the couch and you go. Hey, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, <laughs> bro. You know how many times I done fell asleep on the video game, bro? After that nice meal, oh, dog. Too many like this. Breeze, you be snoozing. I mean, yeah, y'all yeah, boys know me. <laughs> Wait, five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Breeze, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> going and all, man. Yeah, man. Oh, shoot. Of course, we'll just check in on you, man. I know you're coming off, you know, ACL injury. So I guess we just want to check in and see how you're feeling right now. We're, I know you ain't got, you ain't got a, you know, we Patriots, so we don't really yeah. get details. So. <laughs> <laughs> how you feeling, man? I feel good, though, bro. I honestly feel good. I'm right on track, bro. I actually just left Florida. I was doing that. Uh, Crazy little test. Everybody be in a machine where it looked like it's been an electrocute you low key. Like it looked like one of them them jail cell like when you <laughs> death row machines, bro. When you when you kicking out, bro. So um, the results came back good on that though. So the strength is 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 in progress, bro. So I'm excited. I'm very anxious, bro. So I love the anticipation. My my body is naturally doing. Like, I want to get back out there. So just building off that and that confidence, bro, to like not be nervous when I go out there. And just be back to myself, bro. And I guess you can kind of share that some a little bit too. You know, week eight, you go down in a contract mm-hmm. year. Explain to kind of the listeners, you know, what that's what that's like mm-hmm. as a player. Because you know, they they just see the things on ESPN, everybody getting paid all these mm-hmm. dollars. But you know, mm-hmm. hey, there's some some real situations that go on. Like potentially, yeah. like it could have been something crazy to where you may not have. No, got an opportunity, you know, going forward, but you ended exactly. up getting it. So what was going through your mind during that moment? That's a great question. Just like, you know, it's not forever. You've been through it with your head, bro. You you know it firsthand, too. So um, just always having my mind ready uh, off the field, bro, is a big thing for me. I would say to any player, young player, is handling your business off the field um, because, you know, doing the money right, I always talk about it because it doesn't, Money down. Look, hey, yeah, yeah. use your money right here. Yeah. Use your oh. money right off the field. And, you know, it, it takes away the stressors. You know, I'm not out there playing for the money exactly. You know, we want to make all the money. But uh, I'm out there for the joy of the game, like, to help other people, to, to help make my name bigger, uh, make my last name better. You know, my, my co- nieces, nephews hold my last name, my kids. And the bigger I can make my name and take advantage of the opportunity, the better opportunity. So through my mind, it was, it was rough, but 
at the same time, I've been doing the right things off the field. And so to come back, it, it has been easier. And um, just just in that moment, I'm just like, man, it was my first time ever being hurt. So I was just kind of like, bro, what, what is this? How is it about to be? But uh, now I wasn't really like stressing or nothing crazy, bro. I, I'm actually surprised, bro. Just just believing in God, bro. You know, having good faith and and, and just having a, a head on my shoulders, bro. That is good. So um, it wasn't as crazy as I thought it was. It definitely was a bummer, but um, just having a good mental, having good mental strength as the Patriots have taught us, bro, um, goes a long way too, bro. So. Um, shout out to them too. They brought me back as we know before I get in that, but um, that was just a tough situation, bro. Feel that. Hey man, I love hearing you, you know, talk about your faith and sharing your faith, man. That's amazing. Sure. You know, just talk a little bit about that and how much that played a part, you know, you know, when you go down, obviously it's mm -hmm. a stressor, you know, stepping mm -hmm. away from the game that you love, you know, being out, not being able to play. Like yeah. talk to us about like how big does a, your faith play in your recovery and your mindset? Yeah. It's actually everything, bro. Um, yeah. Cause you know, we do the same thing every single day. You go practice, you recover, you go home with your family. Um, being a man, as we all know, bro, is, 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 is heavy, bro. It's, uh, we carry a lot. So God has just changed my life, bro. Dramatically in 2022, um, you know, I gave my life to God, like fully surrendered. Yeah. I always believed in God, I always loved God, yeah, amen, but never man. really truly surrendered and like gave my life to him. Everything I do is with a purpose. Uh, at first, you know, I was just in the club, having fun, enjoying life too much, as we all have, bro, just too much. So, you know what I mean? Just just dibbling, dabbling too much. Women, the whole nine yards, bro, as we all know. And you grow up hearing it all the time, money, drugs, women, the whole nine. And then when you get access as a player, you know, you get caught up in it. And I just went down the rabbit hole too far. And, and one night I just apologized to God, like, man, I done took it too far, like, Kind of was in a situation where I just was drinking too much, got in, got got too intoxicated, and was realizing like, bro, I shouldn't even be this lit in a sense. <laughs> like, like, yeah. And so I kind of had an epiphany one night out, outside of the club, bro. And people be like, people be like, you gave your life to God in the club, but now nah, it was just, hey. it was just realizing, hey. bro. Like, hey. Hey. whenever, whenever wherever, bro, bro. Yeah. 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 exactly. Whenever, y'all know, y'all know exactly what I'm saying. So. Uh, one of those nights, it just changed my perspective about everything. And uh, 2022, I came back in a year and I just changed everything. I didn't do the same things I did. I didn't live the same lifestyle. And I struggled in that year. And James know, like a lot of people know, it was when we hired Matt Patricia and people wanted to blame Matt Patricia, but it was also me going through personal changes uh, with surrendering to God. You know, not my body didn't understand what was happening, but my spirit did. So yeah. <laughs> it was it was it was my best year um, behind the scenes, but it was almost my worst year statistically. But uh, it was very important for me coming back in 2023. Obviously, I got hurt, but the faith um, has helped me become a better player, better man, and uh, just a better husband all around, you know, human being, bro. So that's very important for me. And, and shout out to you for, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, elaborating on that. I think we need more athletes in position and people of influence sure. to speak on that, right? We don't got to be mm -hmm. perfect. You know, everybody mm -hmm. get to that journey and that spot whenever they do on their time and on God's time. But we need more people like yourself and more athletes of influence to holler at the young generation so that they know, mm -hmm. right? Like the clubs, the, the drugs, the alcohol, all that stuff, we get it, right? We, we got to, mm -hmm. you know, enjoy that or go yeah, through yeah. that at some point. But you yeah. also got to, you know, it's a lot of other things in life that is, you know, out there that you got to grow up in and it's going to mm -hmm. make you a better man in the long run. So shout out to you, brother. Thank you, bro. And we know the statistic of players going broke and, and, and struggling financially. So that's a good point to what you're saying. And that's what the that's the route I was headed down to being, you know, not financially free. And like I talked about where, where James first asked me, you know, having stuff doing right done right off the field has helped my recovery, bro. If I was stressing about, you know, my finances and other things, bro, this recovery would probably be much harder. So what you're saying, bro, is spot on, bro. And so just trying to get that back and spread that knowledge yeah 100 percent. definitely you, you kind of talked about a little bit as far as surrendering your life to christ you know we said mm -hmm. our, our podcast called the money down we know on football money downs third down in the game situation mm -hmm. which you one of them guys you move to you move the sticks but we also think it applies to life i mean your money down mm -hmm. moment could have been surrendering your life to christ but was there any other wow. moments you know prior to that where you really had to lock in like if i want to make it to the league if i want to make it to college I got to tap in and change some things in my life to get to where I want to be. It's kind of, you kind of talked about it some, but was there any other moments? But, no, that's a good question. I got a moment in college. Um, you know, I played with Cooper Cup uh, my whole cool. four years in college. And yeah, yeah, he's different. We all know it's different. <laughs> Super Bowl yeah, MVP, champion, through triple crown, all that, bro. And I was with him my whole life, bro. So 
you know, you talk about God and Christ. He he put people in your life to influence you. So it's up to us to like realize who's in our life and how to use people, not use them, but use them for your, you know, for your growth. You know what I, you know yeah. what I mean? So like, it's using it the right way. And so he was in my life the whole time, but I couldn't really see it when I was in college. I was in the same, trying to party, trying to be cool, trying to fit in. So distracted by everything else when I got somebody that is chasing what you're saying to get to the league. And this is when I'm really trying to get to the league. There's other things I can elaborate on, but this was something that was important, an important milestone for me to change. And he, uh, it was my senior year. So we balling out all our years. Uh, we never won a championship. We went to like the semis all the time. And our last year, I was getting senioritis and, and I was just trying to get out of school, bro. And so I wasn't going. <laughs> I wasn't going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 you know, yeah. And I was telling myself, I'm going to the league. I don't care. I don't know how I thought. I don't know how I was going to the league. I wasn't no hot shot. But uh, we was uh, having like seven on sevens in the spring and like summertime and doing workouts. And I wasn't going. I wasn't going. And he, one day he came to my room. He came to my, uh, my house and was like, bro, I need you to get to where I'm going. You know, I want to win a championship. I want to win. You know, the more we win, the more pub we get, all these benefits. And I just wasn't buying in. And he talked to me and he told me like, he's like, bro, you're a better player than me. I just work harder than you. And and that's a big statement from yeah. somebody that's the best in the league. He cold though. I ain't trying to go there. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Crazy, bro. So and this is somebody that's talking to me before he's even who he is. And I don't know. We don't know what the future holds, but he told me that and and it really hit me. It really hit me hard and at home. Like, bro, if you want to be great, if you want to do something different, you gotta listen to this guy. Like he breaking records at this school. He he's talked about all over ESPN and we're at a small school and that was that moment I was like, all right, bro, I'm finna like, if I don't buy in now, I'm probably not going to go like, and he was a big part of that, like mental shift for me to like, he doing it every day, he going to the, he going to the gym, he taking care of his body. He's at all the workouts, all the practices, everything. And, uh, it, it helped me a lot. So that was one of the biggest moments. And I ended up having my best senior year and, um, it was crazy, bro. The stats was crazy. So me and him are like the top FCS duo in history. We got like, 10,000 yards together. He got more. He got like 6,500. <laughs> I, I, hey, I only got like 3,200. Hey, your name is attached to it. Huh? Come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> and so that helped like the whole journey. And But if I wouldn't have listened and been arrogant, you know, like, you know, this is a, a leader telling me, you know, to 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 get somewhere that I couldn't really see, but he, he could see it. And uh, if I wouldn't have been, you know, uh, transparent and vulnerable, uh, it wouldn't have. I probably would not be even where I'm at right now. So that was one of those milestone moments, bro. That's what's up, man. So I wanna, That's I wanna up. ask you, bro. Like, since watching, you know, obviously a fan of football, watching, you always been a high energy guy, which is what a lot of teams need, right? Yeah. Getting mm-hmm. the crowd involved in the games, getting mm-hmm. your players and your teammates juiced up to go out there. Where that energy came yeah. from? Has that always been with you, or is it something you yeah. develop later on? That's a great question. So, mom, mom Dukes is very high energy. Dad's <laughs> okay, mom. <laughs> yeah. So, if y'all ever meet them one day, y'all might. They are high energy. They uh. You know, they have a joy. They obviously introduced me to God and Christ and everything, too, in my life. And so the light is kind of there. And uh, it's always been in me, man. Uh, James, no, you know, being in the locker room, <laughs> goofing around, laughing, trying to, like, break the ice. You know, football's already hard enough. And so just trying to find the joy in it. And uh, the, the the hard work pays off when you can, like, enjoy it more. And uh, people try to talk about the pages not being fun, but it <laughs> – James and I know, like when it when it may it may look different to the outside world, but um, it's fun in that building, and, and there's a culture that winning is fun, and um, it's always been in me though, bro. And honestly, that's what's gotten me paid these last few contracts, which is a blessing. You know what I mean? Being being a characteristic guy, having a sense of humor, um, being vulnerable, being open with my coaches, building relationships. You know, me and Belichick, we had a good relationship. He, he joked okay, around me. <laughs> I'm telling you, he, James, no. So like, it would be like times where like, you know, Bill, he can mess with me. He can, he can, he can joke around with me on film. He might, he might be coaching me, but we have a good relationship behind the closed doors to where like, he know I'm goofy and kind of silly, but he know I, I work hard too. So I've built a relationship with certain people in the building, like Bill and, and other people to where they know I laugh a lot, but they know I put in work. So it, 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 it's a bunch that goes into it, but it's a blessing to have that character and uh, just perspective, bro. You know what I mean? Because it, it's it's uh, it's contagious, and uh, you can either be a cancer in the locker room or you can be positive. And 
Um, you choose. You choose. So any players out there listening, you choose who you are every day. You choose to come in there with attitude of gratitude or you choose to come in with attitude of you don't want to do this today. You t- and it get like that. It get like that because football is like that. But it, you choose every day. And, and I make the choice to, to have that energy. And it helps me, bro, play better. And uh, the longevity is there from it. So that, you know, it's funny. You, you know, I appreciate you sharing that about Bill because you know you think about the Patriots organization. Like you think about Bill, yeah. you think of like strict. Bro. Can't really do much. Prison. But that's cool. Yeah. Bro, prison. You in prison? <laughs> hey, Twenty five on lockdown. <laughs> for real though. But like, and you got any? You got? I gotta know. You got any Bill stories, bro? You got any funny Bill stories? Oh, <laughs> any poking bro. At you? No, he be po- he 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 messed with me a lot, bro. Team me is it? No, I, I, yeah, in the team me, bro. So I got one story. It was in 2022 when I was struggling. So this is so my first year in 2021. Me and Bill getting along, I'm balling. He cool, you know. When you a baller, Bill, <laughs> Bill you alone, you a baller. <laughs> if you in and cooking out for the team, he ain't really gonna mess with you. But in 2022, when I came back and was struggling, he uh, one play, bro, one play. I'm not even in the play. I'm not even like I'm. I'm about 10, 20 yards away from the play. Jacoby Myers catch like a little in cut. And I kind of like was underneath route and I like jog, you know, Jacoby broke a tackle and I like was just jogging. I should have been running and he like, but he was on me all year because I was struggling. So he's trying to push me. He's trying to get it out of me. He knows the player I am. Yeah. And I was just in my own mental struggles, bro. And like, I didn't really want to play football, like <laughs> going through a lot. And he messed with me. So it's another burden I'm feeling like, but he believes in me, you know what I mean? And he like, he, he pointed me out like, boy, why are you, why are you not chasing the ball? Do you just not care? Are you out of shape? That it, bro, he was in front of the whole team. And I'm like, coach, I'm not even in the play. Like, what are you talking about? And he was just, it was one of the worst moments. But as, and I went home, I was just like, man, he actually right, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's that, it's that last effort, you know, Jacoby could have fumbled. Jacoby could have broken another tackle. I could have caught a block. And then shift in my mind, you know, to that. So you can either, it's the same thing, perspective. I could have took it the right way or the wrong way, but it helped me become better. And that year was struggle, but that was one of the toughest stories, bro. He just, every day, bro. And I was business. struggling, so he was about his business, bro. And I'm like, all right, bro, I got to be better next year so, or, or tomorrow. Or, yeah, I don't want to hear this no more, bro. So that's, that's one of them stories. That's the thing about it, though. Not everybody can handle that type of coaching. When you, when you hear, like, the outside noise about the Patriots, not everybody can handle that being called out. You know, jogging like they probably be like I ain't had nothing to do with that. Jacoby got 15 yards. Like, yeah. like why he yelling at me? That type of thing. But if you really sit down and realize, you know, what Bill's trying to get accomplished, he's trying to unlock that potential that you got, that little bit of effort that you didn't show. He's trying to, you know, make something out of you. But you talked about your relationship with Bill a little bit, and like I said, I ain't never seen this happen before, but. When you got married, what was that, 20, 2022 or 2021? <laughs> yeah, 2021. They had a cake for you in the in the cafeteria. <laughs> I, I ain't ever in my whole eight years playing for the Patriots. I, you had to, that's your second year there. Now, I ain't never, ever seen nothing like that. So you, when you say your relationship with Bill, you definitely built that. But I think it's about the, the energy, the enthusiasm that you bring. Like, not everybody's able to do that. You know, on a day to day basis, it's hard. Like, you know, some people no, can fake it. Man. Some people can fake it for you know a couple no. weeks. That shit get tough for them. No. Nah, <laughs> they it get heavy. You know, but you, like, you brought it like every day, and I, I, I think you like brought it to Bill. So you know, Bill's not really an energetic person, but I think you like you know help you know him show some of his personality too, which was really cool. No, I appreciate that, bro. And the cake thing was funny. So we was in like OTA, yeah. and he. He let me miss a whole day. I'm like, bro, what? He like, he like, nah, because me and my wife, we we eloped, so we went to the courthouse, and he was like, nah, just go ahead. I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing something right for sure. But that, <laughs> hey, that was that was the 2021 year when I had right, my best year. Because yeah, yeah. 2022, he probably be like, nah, boy, you ain't going nowhere. We trying to get you right. We gotta get you back to where she was at. But uh, he he always used to text me too, bro. Like I used to always text him happy birthday. You know, really trying to connect with my teammates, my coaches, and obviously the hunt show. Robert Kraft is the big hunt show, and then Bill, you know. But just those little things, anybody listening, any player, you know, like vibe with your coaches, bro. Like, be open. Like, I will always text him happy birthday, he'll text me back, and then eventually our relationship just start growing. He'll text me here and there. Like, 
And then he asked me for my whole playlist, bro. <laughs> my whole... And it, but so, so I've been listening to gospel rap only, bro. Like, I ain't yeah, listening nice. to the, you know, the vibes. I, they still be yeah. cool, but I'm more like shifting my mind, trying to, you know, have my mind listen to positive stuff only. And he really wanted to hear it. He really wanted to, like, hear what I was listening to. And I sent it to him. And it's just, it was just funny because he always texts me back, I love your energy. I love what you bring to the team and how you... Affectious to the team and I'm like dang like he really means it what you're saying like he not just keeping it to himself like he's he's telling me bro and he's not I've created that though you know what I'm saying I've created that that uh, thought in his mind about me so we all create what you know what's out there so anybody listening again bro you create your own destiny bro and your and how people think about you how they view you and it don't gotta be fake it can be legit like you're saying it, and that's how it's been awesome for me because my teammates know it's authentic. My coaches know it's authentic. The training staff know it's authentic. The lunch ladies, you know, the whole building knows now. <laughs> and so they're like, you know, we want this guy in this building. We want to pay him. And it goes that deep. It goes that far. Like, and that's why it's very important, bro. Hey, you, need, you, need, you need individuals in your, your organization like yourself. Before we continue, let's have a word from our sponsor, Prize Picks. With Prize Picks, all you have to do is bet over or under on some of your favorite athletes' projected stats, and you can win big prizes. Look, I'm a South Florida guy. When the NBA playoffs roll around, I'm betting big on all of Jimmy Butler's overs because we all know that's when he steps up. And when you sign up with Prize Picks using our promo code MONEYDOWN, Prize Picks will match up to $500 on your first deposit. I repeat, when you use our promo code Money down. Prize picks will match up to five hundred dollars on your first deposit. You can bet small and you can win big. I wanted to ask you though, um, how was that transition coming from you know West Coast, born out west, and then you really shift all the way east, man? I'm talking about from yeah, as west yeah. as you can be to yeah. as east as you can be. <laughs> Talk about just the difference between the 49ers organization and then you know playing in New England. Yeah, that's a good question. So, you know, we coming out, boom, box. <laughs> so, yeah, when I was All first right. there, that when we started it, me, Debo, like, young dude, we, we we don't know how we thought of it, but we like, we turning up. We got the boom. I remember I went viral. We played the Saints. I was dancing the whole time. This is when Instagram was kind of like really cranking up, like you could get famous. And that's when my followers start going up, you know, my – my fan base, which is kind of important in life too, and, and what we do on the podcast, all this stuff, um, building that fan base was important. So, you know, I'm in, I'm in the vibe. Like you, you asking me, I'm, I'm, I'm growing. I'm getting more popular. I'm getting more famous. <laughs> we vibing. I'm young, and then I'm going. I go to New England. <laughs> That's and it's like, Culture shock, bro. Like, you know, Bill, he ain't having the individuality. Like, nah, my boy, you a patriot now. You ain't, you ain't KB from the San Fran. And it was awesome, though, bro, because uh, it wasn't too bad because New England was kind of transitioning, too, you know, from Tom. Um, so they was trying to bring in. They trying to, like, adjust. Bill was struggling to adjust, bro. He, ain't, he wasn't trying to budge. But, like, you could tell Robert Kraft was trying to, like, infiltrate inner, inner energy, like bringing in Judon, bringing in me bringing in certain guys, like, you could tell they was trying to learn how to adjust to the new Gen Z or whatever you want to call it. So so it wasn't as bad as if I would have came five years ago, I would have probably got cut. <laughs> no, like, real talk, bro. Real talk. Like, and so it, it, it wasn't as bad because Cam Newton was there, so he was kind of like, you know, very vibey, dancey. But, but it was definitely, I had to learn how to work hard. So that's where the the culture shock was shifted for me. I was in San Fran just kind of getting by, you know, natural born talent, you know, get, going, not, not training hard in the off season and uh, just, you know, not, not giving myself the best chance to be great, bro. And I regret it. Those are some of the little things I regret, like not doing off season stuff as I should have been. So when I got to new England, no, that's when that's what it was hard for me. Uh, off season training. I never like went through a harder time in my life, bro. I, I got sciatic nerves, bro, from, from training with the Patriots. That's, that's what I'm going to say. Talk to them about the you know, first weeks bro. of OTAs and three-minute runs. It's like that? Run. No, bro. It's like that, bro. Like he, James saying, it's bad, bro. So, like, my mind, I had to learn. I almost had to learn myself over again. That's why I gave my life to God, too. <laughs> Patriots, kind of, 
I wasn't going to be able to handle it. He said the Patriots are there making believers. Bro, bro they're making believers, bro. No real talk, bro. So to your question, yeah, like it, it wasn't as hard, but uh, it was just different areas like that I had to relearn. But it was beneficial to my growth and my longevity, bro. So now I feel like I can play another five, six years. You know what I mean? Even with being having an ACL, but my mental capacity to work hard, to, to go – Play longer, play more plays, play 10 plays in a row. Knowing I'm tired, but digging deep, bro, and, and within to, to, to make that play that's important for my team. And those little details are worth all that stuff that I've been through. Now, that's what's up. And, and now, you know, this will be your, your fourth year on the Patriots. So mm-hmm. now you one of the you one of the leaders on the offense. You one hey. of the guys that have, have been there mm-hmm. you know, for the longest amount of time. So what's your mindset, you know, going to this upcoming season? Because obviously the mm-hmm. offense has struggled for the last three years. Mm-hmm. So, like, what is your mindset going to OTAs in a few weeks and how are you going to try to show your leadership to the guys? That's a good point. So I uh, I just had a cop, Douglas, out in Portland and uh, Taekwon right. Thornton training with me. It was my first time ever hosting, you know, young guys being, you know, trying to be a, a more vocal leader. I've, I've always been a um, leader by example. Um, that's been easy for me. So being more vocal, man. And, uh, you know, I, I'm silly and I can break the ice, but also telling people what's real. Not that I haven't, but I'll, I'll keep it to myself. You know what I mean? Like telling people the real, like, bro, you need to step it up here rather than keeping it to myself, you know, like, because we, we evaluate each other just like the coaches do. Like, you know who's working hard and you know who's not. You know who's on time and you know who's waking up at the last minute. You, it's easy to tell. I mean, for me, it is now because I've been through it. I've changed. Yeah, I've adjusted and I've grown. And so that is uh, <clears throat> something that I really want to step into, being more vocal. I want to be a captain, bro. Like, truly want to be a captain and, and be, you know, relied on, bro, and on a whole nother level. And last year, I, I felt like I was on my way to that. And the guy was like, nah, not yet, my boy. You, you, go, ahead, you go ahead and sit down. He, he didn't want me because I was stepping into it. You know, he didn't want me to really, like, be that superstar. Like, it was, it was I was getting more attention. You know, I was balling, bro. I was becoming a number one receiver. Um, and that's something I never really, you know, was reaching for. But putting in hard work, you know, those opportunities come. And so that's that's kind of my goal going back in, competing to be number one. I don't I don't care what I am. You know, that's not the goal. I'll be number three. If I got to play my role, that's who I am. But if the opportunity presents itself to be the guy, and we're going to you on the money down and yeah. we finna get and we release <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. You feel me? I want them to know, like, you can always rely on KB. So um, it's it's been good throughout my years. But now it's time, like you saying, I'm a real leader, bro. And my teammates know and, and the organization knows. So that's why I, I came back, too, because – the opportunities there for me to yeah. be somebody that I've always dreamed of being. And if I would have went somewhere else, it might have, you know, it might, I might have had to start over. Come on. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. And so the New England is, they don't care who you are. You don't got to be a first rounder. You don't got to be, you know what I'm saying, a high paid guy. If you got those traits and 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 that character, um, they they, they want to give you the opportunity. So that's the goal, man. Captain is the goal. I want to be a 1,000 yard receiver, 100, 100, 100 catch yeah. guy. Like truly, you know, and even higher than now, but I don't want to go too crazy. Because <laughs> yeah, I ain't chasing y'all. <laughs> Super Bowl. I want to go. Yes, sir, for real, though. Hey, but that's so some of the little things. You going in, you going in uh, year eight, right? You going in mm-hmm. year eight. So you're a vet. You done played a lot of different DBs. Like, who's been like some of your toughest matchups? So who are you looking forward to playing against? You've been in the NFC, and now you in the yeah. NFC. Like, <laughs> That's a good question. So I so when I first when that San Francisco Jalen Ramsey, yeah, he was he was solid. We didn't really see him a lot, but he was one of my toughest matchups. Uh, he just hit, it was when he was in that era of talking, and he he had that vibe to him, which is dope, though. You know, he was creating that aura to himself, bro. And that intimidation factor is real in all sports. Like LeBron James, if you go line up against LeBron, you you gonna have a little bit of like, all right, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Yeah. I, you know, you confident, but you like, oh, it's still LeBron. So I'm like, all right, this Jalen. And I had a couple good routes against him and uh, here and there, but we was battling my first time going against him. And but I beat when I beat him a couple times, I was like, all right, bro, like I'm you feel me? I could compete with the big dogs. Like, you know what I'm saying? He he big dogs. So like and then like I had, I was going against Patrick Peterson a lot um in San Francisco. Um so all those years. So he was one of the guys that was really impressive. Like I had to watch him. And uh, recent, but who I want to see now? 
I want to see Eli out. <laughs> that boy, that boy, he took my knee. He took my knee. Yeah. And so he, so, you know, he back in the division. So I was just kind of joking around, but cause you know, it wasn't nothing malicious, bro. He just playing football and uh, I think he, he got paid too. So, you know what I'm saying? We be talking on the field too. Like it's one of those positive, like, yeah. Talking messes. He'd just be like, nah, I was on that, bro. Like, <laughs> it don't be like calling each other B word, you know, getting disrespectful. It just be like friendly competition. And, and I enjoy that part of the game. So, Eli Apple is someone I'm coming after. So, y'all screen record this, Eli. I'm coming. I ain't trying to be like, uh, uh, what Tyree Hill? I ain't doing all that. Be- <laughs> Eli, we're going to compete. We're going to compete. He's going to talk. Yeah. Oh, Eli's going to talk. Yeah, man. See, but that's oh, how you build, God. like, you know, you you build that, yeah, that, that, uh, that, 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 yeah. 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 Hey, don't get locked up, though. They're going to they gonna tear me apart. Yeah. Uh, so, I was, I was just going to I was just about to ask you, uh, DB here. Um, what, what's your top three routes? If you got an option to, or a choice, and they yeah. say, "Hey, KB, what route you want to run? What you trying to set them up with?" So, so I like to get set up for success. Yeah. So, I want you know what I'm gonna say. I want to start with a ten yard stop. Ah, that's what I want to start with. I want. Either either go ball, like, let me just run a couple free goals. Just like, you know, you ain't got to throw me the ball. I don't care. I don't care. But let yeah, me, let me, let me run fast, run hard, get this nigga like, on my pal. I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, good, all right, good, 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 good. All right, good. So, we, uh, we let me run a couple go balls, then I'll hit him with a stop route. You feel me? Then let me hit him with a, maybe an in cut. So, I love stop routes. I love, like, 15 yard in cuts and slants is just go to. But I don't yeah. really want to run a slant too early. Cause <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, linebackers. And he ain't really, he ain't really got threatened by nothing. So I like to run a couple just free releases, mess with them. Then let me run a stop. Ah, maybe same release, but then I'm going to the end cut. Now, now he kind of thinking a little bit. So those is my favorite routes, but I did, I made a killing in 2021 on end cuts. <laughs> Josh McDaniels was like, bro. I don't know how you be getting over <laughs> Be like, but I no, love what you're doing. Because you yeah, it'd be like, it'd be like third and 18, and then I'll catch like a 15, 16 yard end cut. Oh, we going God. for it on four and two. He, he ain't tripping. He like, he like, oh yeah, I got a lot of players for this. So those are a couple of my like strength routes. That, that's yeah. one of the hardest routes. To, I tell people, that's one of the hardest routes to come. Them, them 15 yard digs. You know, when you get in the league, they start running them 20 yard digs. Like, that's <laughs> That's, that's your damn man. You gotta rely on the path rush, bro. That's, that's and then you can run a ten yard in. It can like and 10, 15, 20. You gotta no. See that's see your mind is already thinking. So that's the idea as a receiver is to have y'all thinking more because y'all talented, bro. Y'all know how to move. Y'all know how to move your body. So how? Because y'all faster than us. I ran a four seven, four six. So <laughs> and y'all, y'all y'all running four four. So. I got to, you know, be very detailed in how I'm running routes, how I'm manipulating their mind. And it's a lot that go into it. So it takes a lot of hard work and uh, dedication to the craft, bro. Deep end cuts, where is that too? Them be them catch and run plays because you get you get you get beyond them linebackers and that that little second level. You catch that joint, you split it. You know, ah, <laughs> out of there. You, you oh know, man, talked about them a little bit. Give people, you know, a little bit of insight on a Josh McDaniels walkthrough before man, practice, man. even before the game. Oh, that's that's one of the hardest things you can ever go through as a Patriot. Forget forget practice. <laughs> the walk. I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I know a Go couple ahead, players. I know a couple players, bro, <laughs> who hate them. <laughs> <laughs> All I've walked through, though. Oh, you not like, Kevin. You not Kevin. <laughs> so no. So I got bro. I can go all day, and I take it back to what I was saying: building relationships, bro. So any young guys, any players now, building that relationship with your coaches. So like, you know, there's a certain level of respect. And like a care for you, like because they care about us, bro. But if you show you don't care, they not gonna care. And so, like, bro, it was so I got a story. So we didn't walk through in the hotel before the game. And I'm learning, so I'm new this year, this 2021. I'm struggling, bro. Like his playbook complex. I'm like, there's certain plays that always pull up that I'm like, and so it's this play and it's alert to this play. So he go from this play and he changed it, he can change it, and it changes everything. 
And it was one play, bro, where it always tricked. I could never get it, bro. As much as I studied it, as much as I walked through it, I could never get it. And he knew that. He knew. So he, he and walkthroughs quiet. It's like, it's the real test, bro, which is good for players and us because it makes us focus. And like, you don't want to be embarrassed. You don't want to be the dude that messes up the walkthrough. You, because everybody looking at you, they laughing. Now you start sweating. Your armpit sweating. You, 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 you dry your shirt. It, it, get, it get tricky, bro. Now you thinking more. Now you like, oh, what's next? So like, you don't want to, you don't want to fall to that bucket. And he called to play and he knew I was going to mess it up, dog. And I messed it up. And he just looking at me. He, he laughing. And, and I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it. But, it was uh, it was just showing me that I need to study more those little details. But uh, those those walkthroughs changed my life, bro. Like he he honestly made me better at walkthroughs and being more detailed. I love Josh, bro. So I don't have that that like <laughs> you right, bro. Some people really like no, they not messing with them, bro. And and, and, and everybody's different. Everybody don't uh, take coaching the same. Like James was saying earlier, everybody can't. Everybody don't have that mental strength, bro, and yeah. and grit behind it to like you know hear negativity about they so cause we all alpha male you're not gonna tell me I'm not him or whatever but uh he wants you to be better and and we had that relationship of kind of like goofiness but he 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 taught me how to be a better patriot bro so those walkthroughs man I, I I'm glad they over <laughs> <laughs> yeah John John's get a bad rap man but he he all about details man he gonna the walkthroughs yeah. gonna go over every play every possible play every possible alert you gonna go over a, a hundred plays in that walkthrough but he gonna make sure mm-hmm. you prepared and you know what's about to happen on Sunday so when that play call it's just like all right, I already know I already know it's, what it is like you you know why the alerts coming you know versus certain coverage you know exactly what route you're gonna run it prepares you very well, but not everybody can handle that type of coaching and that many details. Because I know some teams, they just run through like the little, the script, the first few 10 plays, and then, hey, we all, we all for the night. Nah, we, we going through everything. No, we, we in there all <laughs> night, bro. Boy, 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 boy. situation. Yeah. Boy's going back Every and we no OTA. Yeah. But, and that's what's, that's what's awesome. Man, I'm telling you, that's what's awesome about James, though. You know, he bought into it, and it can help anybody's career. You know, they – underdog, you know what I'm saying? You being smaller, yeah. but you bought into the detail, bro. And that's where players got to buy into. So that's something I had to learn through Josh. And it was awesome for me, but that's why I became better, you know, over the years, 2022, I struggle. I talk about it all the time. I love talking about it, but um, him leaving, I was kind of sad. You know what I mean? I'm like, dang, and this is my fourth OC, bro, in four years. So that's, yes. that's rough in itself. So hopefully Alex, you know, we can, we can hit it off. You know what I'm saying? And it'd be, it'd be awesome with Jared, Gerard and, and we'll see, bro. But uh, that was that was a important time in my life. I left a team, and I had my best year, so it showed that I can, you know, do it in other ways and all that. So it's hey, important. I, I, I wanted to throw this out there, bro. I saw you zoom out a little bit, bro. Is that is, is that your born blessed apparel? Yeah. 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 So so I started a foundation first, bro. We help under under uh underprivileged youth, you know what I'm saying, high school, high school students, bro. Uh, it's just called Born Blessed Foundation, but I like to help those high school kids, bro, in that that struggling area between, like, freshman year to, like, junior year, because I really struggled. You know, I didn't have no guidance, bro. Luckily, I met one of my high school coaches. He he came in from, like, California, and he gave me – he set me on the right path, bro. He made me get in the right classes for to be eligible for NCAA, so – just helping kids in those areas. And then uh, the clothing brand, I just kind of like came up with like, um, as I changed my life, you know, I didn't, I don't want to wear designer no more. I didn't want to represent anybody else. I wanted to really brand myself. And so I just named it Born Blessed. And um, the, the slogan behind it is, you know what I'm saying? No matter what you've been through, bro, if you got the right perspective, uh, you could get through anything. So ultimately you was born blessed. So you was born with the opportunity to like, you know what I'm saying? Be better, be great. You know what I'm saying? Have a chance to do something if you attack it the right way. So, uh, we was all here for a reason, and that's how to how I like vibe with it. So just growing it, trying to you know be fly, represent Christ. Uh, I'll be having like tribal in it, bro, because I'm Samoan and black. So uh, it's been doing good though, bro. It's been doing good. Uh, I've been actually uh, working in a store in Portland, bro, and people been on it. You know, it's a blessing to, to have a strong name, you know, a strong brand, a strong name. And uh, I just I just want to do more things than just football. You know, teaching myself how to. Uh, do different things rather than just be a football player. 
Where, where, where can we cop the apparel? Just let me know. Yeah. Bornbless.com. Bornbless.com. <laughs> yeah, right. Simple. Simple. Make Simple. Sure you cop that, man. Yeah, 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 sure, yeah. Yeah. This, ain't, this ain't on there, bro. My bad. This is a one. 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 It's a sample. It's a sample. So, you know, you're telling me you like it. So, that's what I like. It's stuff I like to hear. So, but it's funny, bro. Everything I wear, they be like, oh, we want that. And all my teammates, they like, oh, you wearing the one stuff we want. You got the stuff on the Right, we don't want. say, man. Okay, say, bro. Bro. Let me get the two and two. <laughs> gotta, have, gotta have that anticipation. Get them hype. Get nah, them you're hype. right, though. Sure. And so, yeah, I just been using it, bro. It's been fun. It's been a journey. And I've been trying to do it from the ground up, you know, like not just trying to throw all my money in there, really like have a drop, you know, use the money that I, you know, make and try to, you know, be just, just take it slow and do how other people feel and try to put myself in other people's shoes, bro. Because I can skip the steps, but. I'm already skipping steps because I'm born. So yeah. like, I'm already yeah. cheating in a yeah, sense. Yeah. So like, yeah. I don't want to just, I don't want to milk it. I want to feel, you know, the grind. I want to feel like, okay, I started here one day and I got it to 100K a year. So maybe, you know, having those goals and yeah. different things. That's fine, yeah. man. Obviously, a lot of people going to want to want you to answer this question. Patriots mm-hmm. got the number three pick in the draft. Mm-hmm. What you what you want to see him do? What you is there any is there any quarterback you you like over the others? I mean, obviously we think the Caleb Williams gonna go number one, so it probably mm-hmm. be Drake May, JJ McCarthy. We hearing or Jaden Daniels? Yeah. Who, who you like? So out of- <laughs> so so I, so I've been big Jaden. I've been big Jaden. Okay, but after watching. Uh, What's his name? You just said him. Uh, J.J. Drake. McCarthy? Or uh, Drake May? No, J- Drake. Drake. So I didn't really J.J. I'm starting. They're they giving him the Josh Allen comparison. He is 6'4", 225. Like, he got that. He got that build. He got that structure that to big. handle that. That's right. Bro, I didn't gain. I didn't know either. I thought he was like 6'2", you know what I mean? Maybe 200. Nah, they say he's 6'4", 225. Like, big, big dog. Like, he, he, he got something to him. So... I'm in between, bro. I'm really in between. Uh, JJ's dope, too. You know, he got that winning mentality. Yeah. He's been through the hard work, hard ball. Yeah. Uh, Michigan just got that mentality. So I'm excited, bro. And just accepting whoever comes in, you know what I mean? Like building that relationship, bro, immediately. Like, I'm going to hit him up. Uh, I ain't hit up Brissette yet, though. I got to hit him up. Hit cold, 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 cold yeah. people's, man. Cold people's I know, bro. I got to <laughs> connect. I saw him, bro. I saw him in Los Cabos, bro. Okay. Me and my wife was on vacation. Oh yeah, working out, bro. We took a trip. He was wow. running up the he was running up the hill, bro, training by himself. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, bro, I know who you are. I know who you are. <laughs> but I didn't say nothing to him. I didn't go up to him, but he was grinding. I was like, now my perspective about him is like, okay, you 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 grind, you put it in like. You and you and them, you and across the world, my boy, <laughs> training by yourself. I'm over here on vacation. Like it was impressive though. So, um, you know, I believe in the plan, bro. You know, I having faith in, in, in Elliot, bro. I love Elliot as a GM. Um, Gerard, you know, he got the he got the vibes, the the, the young vibes. So, um, I think I think it's gonna be a different time, bro. And the young quarterback, <laughs> you know, Bill. Bill ain't no easy pickle, bro. He. He coming at the quarterback, and so it might be a little easier for these young guys. So um, hopefully just this new era goes exactly how I think it's going to go. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up, man. All right, we appreciate you joining us, taking the time, man. Kendrick okay. Bourne, make sure you check out bornblessed.com. Copy some of Bornblessed.com. 100%, man. Appreciate you che- checking in with us tonight, dog. Yes, sir, bro. Thank you, fellas. Thank you, guys. But that was fun, bro. Thank you, guys. <laughs>